Right then, in this step, we're going to create a new camera. Now, the camera that we're working with at the moment, this one here, oh, hang on, let me turn some stuff off. That's not working very well. This is the default perspective camera, and it's best to leave this alone and not use this for animation. This is good for just previewing your scene. Um, so what I want to do is create a new camera, which is going to be the camera that we'll be rendering from later, uh, after we've animated it to make the scene look a little bit, um, a little bit more dynamic. So to create a new camera, uh, you need to go into the Create menu, and then as we've created some uh, uh, polygons and we've created lights already, there's also camera as well. Now there's different settings. Um, things like stereo camera which would be for creating videos to be output in 3D um, the one that we need or the one we're going to use is camera and aim uh, which means that you can animate the camera itself so the position but you can also have it always aiming at something so you get two attributes for it um, so we're going to create that okay so there's our camera in the floor conveniently um, and what I want to do now is just to get this set up to animate with so we can see what the camera sees um, we're going to go to Window, Saved Layouts, and we want the four view. Now this is the view that we've been using before. Um, let's just make that a bit smaller. No, nope, I can't make that smaller. Okay, that's fine. Um, what we're going to do is make it so one of these views is what this camera can see. So we're going to leave Perspective, and I'm going to leave this view here as well, because it means that I can see where the camera is located in the room. So there we go, this is my room. And I need one of these so I can sort of see what the height of the camera is. So I'm going to leave the front view, I think, so that I can see how high the camera is in the room. So this view here, I'm going to make it so that it previews what this camera can see. So you do that by clicking on panels in the panel menu you want to change. And because we've created a new perspective camera, it'll come up under there. And then this new camera we've created is called camera one. So there we go, we can see that that's looking through the floor. So I'm going to turn on some shading for that. And then now whenever I move this camera, I'll be able to see exactly what it's looking at. Um, and so that is now ready. I'll just move it up out of the floor. There we go. So you can see that that's now previewing what's going on there. That's now ready to animate with in the next video. So we'll create a nice animated camera. I'll see you there.